The Griffins finally back at home for MIAA football last night, hosting Fort Hayes State. It was the first home game at Spratt Stadium in almost two years. An exhibition game was played last year, but it won't count in the record books. And while last night may have been the Griffins' first game back at home, it was also the voice of the Griffins' final game on the microphone. KQ2's Chris Rausch has more. March Madness, everybody. Nick it McCutcheon, is. Dave Riggert. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Fawcett, Missouri. With Nick McCutcheon, I'm Dave Riggert, MIAA Tournament Quarterfinal. For more than a decade, Dave Riggert's been the voice of some of the biggest sports moments around St. Joseph. And the St. Joseph Mustangs have won the 2019 Mink League Championship. Missouri Western State University MIAA Championship. The Benton Cardinals have soared to the top of Class 5. But on Thursday in Missouri Western's home opener, Rigert says goodbye to the place he called home for 12 years. I'm super excited about this opportunity. Um, couldn't pass it up to go to a Division One school that is very successful and has a tremendous following, a great athletic department, but um, I'm also leaving that behind. Rigert will be the voice of James Madison FCS football and basketball. The hardest part, leaving so many student athletes and coaches here that I absolutely love. Also looking forward, and there's going to be some student athletes and coaches that I'm going to fall in love with there too and get to know even better. Perhaps he didn't know in the moment, but Rigert's passion for calling games will be missed by those teams, those coaches, and the fans all across the area. You can't tell the radio guy that you love him, but... I love you. I love you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate everything you've done for us, our school, um, this community, and, and I want to thank you for everything you do for high school football and just sports in general, man. I wish you nothing but the best, buddy. Congratulations on a great, on a great job that you've done here in the city of St. Joe, and I wish nothing but the best for you moving on to James Madison. Have a great time, man. I'm really happy for you. Um, you know, they're, they're going to be getting one of the greatest sports casters that I've personally had the pleasure of meeting. Just spending time with him, you know, and just being able, able to have uh, him in our community and be able to, uh, to produce, you know, what he's done has been, it's been awesome. We're going to miss him a bunch. Thursday night marks his last Missouri Western broadcast, his last call in town. But St. Joseph will always be a part of him. When I first got here in 2009, I didn't think I'd be here this long, but I fell in love with St. Joe, Missouri Western, um, and it's just been, it's been a family to me, so it's been awesome. Uh, it's hard to leave, it's no doubt about that, but I'm excited about the opportunity that I've got in front of me. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.